Okay, before this video starts, I do have to apologize. Um, I'm sweating really bad here. I'm literally melting, and as you can see, I'm really sorry about this. Um, it is incredibly hot here. I think it's about 34 today. Um, and yeah, I'm not doing too well in this heat, and I've done this video about 15 times because my throat is completely dry, but hey, we'll carry on. Right, okay, as you can see, I'm back in Taipei after a few days in Taichung. All my work's finished, and I've got a day off. What better way to spend the day off than to shoot some film? Now, this is my M6. This is a TTL version M6. The reason I like the TTL is because of the big dial here. Much easier to get to. Um, when you get your finger there, much easier. The older version was too small. Um, this is, yeah, great camera. Um, love this camera, love this lens. This is a 28mm Simicron. This is the new version with the metal hood. The older version of the hood used to disappear off and they're quite expensive to replace. Now, I heard some sad news this morning. Um, basically, Leica has announced it is discontinuing the M7. So there are no more M7s and no more M7s à la carte. I think they still make two film cameras, but that's the end of the M7, basically, um, which is very sad because they do, in my mind, still make the best film cameras out there. Um, they really do make you slow down and think about your photo. Um, I don't go into all this stuff that, oh, it makes me feel like this, it makes me feel like that. Just like people that wear expensive watches, it's entirely up to you. You can wear that. I may have an Apple watch because it's more functional to me. This is a functional camera and I love shooting with these cameras. Um, the M10, the Leica Q, sorry, I'm, I'm mounting. The Leica Q and the M6 all feel the same to me. I could pick any one of them up and start shooting straight away, um, which is great. So the film I've got is Tri-X Portra and JCH Street Pan. Now this is all 400 film, which might be a bit of a problem today because um, this thing has a shutter speed of a thousand and the ISO 400 or ASA 400 film. Yeah, I'm not going to get much shadow depth of fill today because um, I left my ND filters back in Auckland. It was the only thing I forgot on the whole of the trip. <coughs> Sorry, drying up here. But <coughs> Sorry, mate. it was the only thing I forgot, um, which is pretty good for me because I normally forget quite a lot. So yeah, just forgot my ND filters for my M6. Right, okay, so the next part of this video will be a video of this beautiful place which will pop up here because I'm not going to pronounce it because I pronounce it wrong every single time. And yeah, that's really bad on my behalf because I've been here 43 times and I know next to no Chinese. Uh, Mandarin, yeah, Mandarin, sorry, next to no Mandarin. So I really should learn some Mandarin and maybe some Taiwanese. Right, okay, so next part of this video will be a little video of this beautiful place. And then after that, we'll be back in Auckland because um, we're going to get this developed in Auckland and I'm going to scan this film with you guys. Yeah. Mm. No pressure really then, is there? Right, okay, it's going to be scanned on the Nikon CoolScan 4000, which in my mind, the 4000 and 5000 are still the best film scanners on the market. Nothing matches them. Um, you have to get some adapters and use a third party software, but it all works fine and they're very reliable. Um, they do sound like a paper shredder when you put your film in, which is a little bit worrying sometimes, but hey. Right, okay, see you guys back in Auckland.
as you can see, I'm back in Auckland. Cold Auckland, but I'm back in Auckland. It's always good to be home. Um, right, okay, so um, I'm not gonna scan the film. It's gonna take too long. <laughs> I forgot how long the cool scan 4000 takes to scan a negative. It's about a minute to a minute and a half. So I'm gonna miss that process. So we're gonna leave that bit. And the slideshow of the, of the photos will be at the end. Now I have a confession. Um, I was meant to shoot three rolls of film and only shot two. Now, after I shot the intro video, I went out and shot the film. And uh, I got cooked. I got really badly cooked and I wasn't feeling too good. So I shot one roll of portrait and then I left. And I headed off to the MRT because the MRT is air conditioned, which is Taipei's Metro Rapid Train System or something like that, MRT. It's their underground system, basically. It does go above ground, but it's mostly underground. And so I spent about an hour and a half, two hours on there, just cooling down, feeling a lot better, and going to different stations, jumping off, taking some photos, jumping back on another train. And yes. Now, do not drink or eat on the trains. A lot of foreigners do it, don't do it, because it's not the right thing to do. You're not meant to do it, so please don't do it, because it makes all of us foreigners look really bad. So don't do it, thank you. Now, before you see the slideshow, some people ask me questions about my Leica cameras. I actually get asked a lot of questions about my Leica cameras, especially when I'm shooting them. Oh, they're expensive, or they're this. Yes, they are expensive, but they're nice cameras to shoot with. I shoot with Leica cameras because I enjoy the experience. These cameras are built like nothing else. Well, there's no other film camera you can buy anyway, really, to be truthful. And a rangefinder is a very peaceful process of shooting with it. It's, it's amazing. So I shoot like this. So it goes up against my eye and I focus and bang, take the photo. Now, that's how you shoot a rangefinder. It's meant to sit on the side of your face here so you can look around, see what's going on. You can use this eye if you want to keep it open and look and take a photo. You do not hold a rangefinder like this and embed it in your face. You end up with a hot shoe dent here and your nose is bent to one side because it's really uncomfortable and you can't do it for too long. You use it like this, just nice and peaceful and just sit there and then wait and you don't even know you've got the camera. You can actually move your head around and then put it back and bang, take the shot because the camera's not moving. That's how you shoot a rangefinder. All the photos you're gonna see are direct scan. So what I call by direct scan, they come out of the cool scan 4000, which is over there. I'm pointing here and it's not here anymore, but it was over there. So it comes out of that. It goes down a Firewire 400 to 800 cable, 800 to Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt to Thunderbolt 3 adapter to go into the MacBook. And then it's a TIFF and then it's just converted to JPEG and that's it. No other editing is done to my photos. I do not put them in Lightroom and adjust them, blah, 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 and edit them, do this. I don't see the point of it. What's the point of shooting film when you're gonna turn it into a digital photo? You're gonna spend hours and hours and hours on it, manipulating it in Photoshop or Lightroom. In my case, Aperture. I still use Aperture, but anyway, we don't go down the road, right? So my photos are direct out of the scanner, direct scan. So they come out of the scanner, into the MacBook in TIFF, and then from there, they're then converted to JPEG and they go into slideshow. That's it. I do not manipulate my photos in Lightroom or Photoshop or whatever other software. I don't see the point. If you're shooting film, it's film. Don't go manipulating it for hours and hours and hours to make it a good photo in a digital software because then it's a digital photo. It's not a photo anymore. It's not a film photo. I don't understand that. That's just me, but I like to keep things pure and keep it the best way I can. I, I'm not one of these people that like, oh, I can take this photo, I can make it an amazing photo. I like to get it right in the camera first time and learn to get it right in the camera first time because number one, I don't, I don't like sitting in front of the computer too long. <laughs> so you're gonna see direct scans, I'm gonna call them direct scanned TIFF to JPEG. You're gonna see them in a slideshow now. But give me a thumbs up because there'll be more videos coming like this. Film photography and this type of photography is part of me and it's gonna be part of this channel. It's not just gonna be reviews. Um, I wanna take you guys along on my journeys that I do overseas. I'm back in Taiwan in October already. I've already been booked in already. So I'm back there in October, which um, should be interesting. That's gonna be an interesting trip, trip, trip. Yeah, interesting trip, <laughs> okay. So remember, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.